If you would love to find out how to harness the energies associated from February the 26th to March the 4th, stay tuned. This is a really powerful week. I feel like it's not going to go the way that you thought, but just know that this beautiful blessing in disguise that you're about to experience this week is going to be the best thing that has ever happened to you. So this week we're going to start off in the first quarter of the moon. We've, that's just going to be for Monday. That's the action stage. So if you've got more of this action that you have been working on and the momentum is behind you, then keep going with that on Monday. Come Tuesday, we move into the next phase of the moon cycle, which is asking us to trust to trust that everything is working out for you. Then when we go to Friday, we're gonna be having the new moon. This is a really powerful, powerful time. I actually have a full in-depth reading for you on that, so you can check that on the end card. It's just a powerful week, but I just want you to know that this week we need to take a deep breath in and out because this blessing and disguise that you're going to be experiencing may shake things a little bit, but it's going to be perfect. It's going to be wonderful because your angels are leading you to where you need to be. You may not understand it, but just trust the process. Anyways, my love, I can't wait for you to watch this reading. Before you get started, if you want to find out more, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the MK Love fam. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you haven't already hit that bell, make sure you do because when you hit that bell, you will be notified every single time I upload a video. If you don't, then you can actually miss out on our weekly angel guidance and all the other delicious goodness that I deliver across this platform for you. So, I hope you're ready. And without further ado, let's just breathe. Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, helping you to trust your intuition so you can manifest your dream life. So without further ado, let's get on to today's reading. And we're going to start here with the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. So let's see what we need to know for this week. One card, angels, please. Oh, can you see that one? Let's take that one. Okay, first card is Blessing in Disguise. I love this card for so many reasons. Now, I feel like whatever has been going on for you as we're leading up to this full moon, which is gonna be happen happening later in the week, Maybe something hasn't been working out the way that you had anticipated. I know for me, this is totally what's happening. But what I feel like what's happening is you're being redirected to somewhere where you maybe never even thought was even possible. And your angels are saying, um, we're going to put you on the right track, baby. I was born this way. And I feel like once you get onto that right track, everything is going to start flowing with ease. So just know that whatever you're going through right now, even though you may not understand what the flip is going on, everything is working out for you. So just trust the process and allow everything to work out. Actually, speaking of trust, because we're in the moon cycle of the Give Us Moon, which is asking us to trust. So your affirmation for this part of the moon cycle is, I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. Doesn't that just sound beautiful? Don't you feel like this instant relief and it's like, yes, everything is working out for me. I have no idea what the flip the universe is trying to do for me right now, but I know that it is delicious and I'm just gonna go with it. So that's your first card for this week. So let's get more clarity and just see what else comes up. Clarity on, blessing in disguise, okay. Then the next card that flipped up is reward yourself. So yes, you may be feeling like, well, what the heck am I gonna do? But I feel like in order to reward yourself, I feel like that means that you have maybe been neglecting a part of yourself. I know for me, that is totally true. You'll see more about that on my um, episode one as a part of my Life of a Spiritual Soul vlog series that will be released on Wednesday. Um, and you will see like the shit hit the fan and I went from vibrating on the frequency of love to being in fear. And I was like, how do I get out of this? And I was like, oh, I know. 
Start looking after yourself much better. How do you program yourself for success? How do you program yourself so you can manifest this beautiful husband? How do you manifest this new career that you're doing? Manifest a new leveling up in your business? Manifesting a deeper relationship with your husband or your children or whatever that looks like for you. And I feel like this is your indicator to be like, okay, everything's working out. Everything is working out. So it says, you've been receiving a lot, you have been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make this time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation at a consistently high level. If you feel like you're giving, 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 giving and you're not receiving, something's out of alignment and your angels are saying, okay, you need to step up to the plate and you need to be the one to reward yourself. You can't sit around and wait for someone else to, you know, make you this delicious cup of tea. You make the flipping cup of tea yourself, yo. <laughs> well, I'm saying that Peter would totally make me a cup of tea, but he's out running 102, 102 kilometers today. He just messaged me before. He's like, hey, boo boo, um, six hours in and already done 38 Ks. I was like, oh my God. This kid is crazy, but he's beautiful. All right, let's move on. This is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. And let's just see what we need. Blessing in disguise and reward yourself. Reward yourself, yo. What else do we, there we go. Cause you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Okay, so this blessing in disguise is scaring you a lot. I can feel it. What's that song? I can feel it going in the air and down alone. Cause I've been waiting for this moment for all my oh shit, how's it? For all my life. Let me Google that. Hold on. I would like to know what that song is. Coming in the air tonight. Oh, that's the words. <laughs> Phil Collins. Oh my god. Ha, that's an old school song. Actually, it's the Cabri song. Not that we're promoting Cabri here. Okay, I'll play it. I'll link it for you later. But yeah, the angels are saying everything is working out for you. You just need to trust the process. It may not be looking the way you wanted it to be initially when you set your intentions in the new moon, but it is working out exactly the way that your angels have orchestrated it. And if you're feeling uncomfortable and you're like, I don't understand why, just take a deep breath. Do your self-love practices, reward yourself. What can you do to make yourself feel amazing? And I feel like if you're in that phase, like I was a couple of days ago when the shit just hits the fan and not really the shit didn't hit the fan. It was just like fear just took over me. So if you're in that stage, it's just like you need to nourish your yourself by doing your self-love practices like up it up like do morning and night as much as you possibly can all right let's move on to the numerology guidance deck from michelle buchanan and see what's coming up in this one just one card please angels what do we need to know That's creativity okay so this could be either related to creativity as in like the business that you're in this could be creativity as a way, as it's a form of your self-expression. I don't know, if you paint for fun, do that. If you paint and you get paid to do that, that's even more amazing. But the creativity is the root of the problem. So you totally need to address that for this week. I feel like it's going to help you just flow, allow you to flow with ease. I think... I'm not going to pull too many cards because we already have a detailed um, full moon video for you, which I'll link for you on the end card. So really, it's just getting us from Tuesday, Tuesday, no, yeah, there's not too much this week because most of it will be in the full moon. I just need to tell you, I have a flipping massive headache filming this reading, a massive headache. And if you go back to my full moon video, I had a throat chakra blockage. What is happening? This week is a bit crazy. But it's all working out perfectly. Okay, one card for clarity on blessing in disguise, reward, reward yourself, have faith, and creativity. What do we need to know, angels? Wow! 
Okay, I'm gonna take the, it kind of landed like that. I'm gonna take the first card that here. Oh, okay. Your wish comes true. So maybe it's like, let me give you an example. In regards to if you're trying to manifest a new partner, maybe the guy that you are seeing, like just dating, you know, it totally falls apart and you're like, oh my God. But you may be meeting somebody else that's gonna be even better than you have ever imagined. I feel like whatever is happening, she's got her head above the water, you know? Like she's got all this beautiful, delicious goodness down the bottom. It's like, she's she's got this beauty and she's like smiling and the moon is like shining on her. It's like everything is working out. I just feel like what's coming up for you this week, oh my God, this headache is getting worse. It's, um, yeah, I feel like everything's working out for you. We just have to trust the process because the process isn't what you thought it would be, but it's gonna be even better in the long run. Okay. Oh, it's a very emotional, holy freaking hell. We've got the king of water. Okay, so we moved from the nine of water and then we got the king of water. Now, he does have these arms crossed as to be like, he's like closed off. Um, the card actually says, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Okay, so I see two fish, oh no, there's quite a lot of fish. There's two fish swimming side by side. I see a dolphin, I see a chalice. He's got all the beautiful jewels. I see a lot of pairs. Like there's two dolphins swimming side by side and there's two fish swimming exactly side by side. I feel like you're surrounded by this beauty and I just feel like maybe you have been a little bit closed off and I feel like that's because of this blessing in disguise initially you're like what the flip does this mean but your angels are saying it's like you just need to open your heart and your mind and just know that by trusting in the universe that is such a beautiful and delicious power that is higher than you and it always serves your highest good everything that you're going through as crazy as sometimes it may be it's just your angels like giving you a little wake-up call and saying this is where you need to go Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pull another tarot. Just one more, I think. Oh, well, that came out quite quickly. Speak your mind with confidence. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> the king of air. So we're getting quite a lot of kings. So this is really, this is like massive. I feel like this is a massive transformation. Speak your mind with confidence, which is interesting because if you go back to the full moon, um, reading, I had a throat chakra blockage. And being able to have a throat chakra blockage means that you're not speaking your truth. It's interesting that this card popped up because it says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. That was interesting because the reward yourself card spoke about balance as well. It's like we've lost our balance for a little bit balance mental and emotional considerations and then I heard that song free your mind and the rest will follow okay I think this is really beautiful it's like you're moving the horse is moving he's like kitted up in all this beautiful gear oh okay have a look at the trees can you see that like there's lots of new growth all the way around it? Can you see these um, like autumn leaves are right at the front suggesting that, you know, you've come, you've come, it's like you're breaking free. Like I want to break free. I feel like it's like the old is like melting away and you may be like, what is happening? I feel like a lot of you be questioning it, questioning it. But remember, let's go back to the affirmation if I can pull that up. I trust the process as everything is working out for me. Everything is always working out for you. So you just trust this process. I feel like some of you have been like so tightly gripped at what you thought that you wanted, but it's kind of like when you, be, when you have the ability to trust your intuition, it's like your own internal GPS or your own 
coach that's like rooting for you and they're not going to put you in a situation that's not going to serve you. Everything that you're going through is a series of lessons and I feel like you're breaking free of something that no longer served you so you can become this new person like this is solar eclipse energy this is powerful energy that's going to be lasting for the next six months so just know that everything is working out for you and just trust the process as we go into the full moon which is going to be on friday so that's March 1st or 2nd, depending on where you are in the world. This is when I want you to release what doesn't serve you. Release this job that doesn't serve you. Release this guy that's treating you like a piece of shit. Whatever that looks like for you, this is just a general reading. So whatever that looks like for you, I want you to release that. So that can literally be writing a letter to your ex and burning it. Um, I have a whole series called Release Blockages on Paper. I will link that for you as well. What doesn't serve you? What are you holding so gripply tight that you're literally stopping more abundance coming in? What is the first thing that just popped up in your subconscious as I just said that? Because that is what you need to focus on for this week. Everything's working out. I just feel like this card set the tone for the whole week. It's like, yeah, it's okay. You may be a little bit busy. You may have lost your balance. I lost my balance, but you know what's really beautiful is the way that you pick yourself back up and you put on this beautiful outfit you buy some beautiful little earrings that spark joy. Um, you know, you just do what you need to do to make yourself feel good again. I think that's why this reward card is highly important. But then just know that this is all going to be channeled through your creative endeavors. And just have faith that everything is working out for you. I feel like you need to... I feel like this blessing in disguise has got you like like this king um, of water here with his arms crossed and he's like, no, no, no. And he's just closed off from all the beautiful possibilities that are there and actually going to be better than you ever thought. Like just, just feel that for a second. Just visualize it. Like I know that everything that I'm going through right now, which you'll probably see in my weekly vlog for Wednesday, I was so tightly gripped and I was like, that was the way it's meant to be. But the angels gave me a cosmic download, which came through Peter. And they were like, you're meant to do this. And I was like, oh, amazing. And then fear came in. And I was like, ah, how am I going to do that? Oh my God. Ah, ah, ah. You know, like, it's just like, calm the flip down. Calm the flip down. Let me just have a drink of tea. This reading's giving me a massive headache. I feel like this will be a bit of a headache for you this week. But it's going to be a good headache because... We need this headache because we've just been too tightly gripped. And just, I feel like the song for this week is I want to break free. I want to break free. Bum, bum, dun. I should know this song. I've seen the musical like five times. I'm falling in love. God knows. God knows I want to break free. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you go. Um, if you like this video, can you give me a thumbs up? That would be amazing. And if you have any insight or clarity as to what came up for you during this reading, comment down below because I would absolutely love to hear from you. It's probably one of my favorite parts of releasing a video is to seeing what you guys comment below. If you don't really feel like telling me what's going on, just tell me where you are in the world or just send me like two little X's, like two little kisses and... I'll just know that you're watching and then I will send you love. Anyways, my love, I'll see you on Wednesday with episode one as a part of my brand new vlog series, Life of a Spiritual Soul, where I take you behind the scenes of what it's like to run a business, a YouTube channel, manage everything, what it's like to balance that with having a partner. You know, it's crazy. But we're finding our balance and what's truly beautiful with each and every day we are literally taking a step closer to the person that we know that we are destined to be so just trust and let it be let it be oh let it be speaking words of wisdom let it be all right guys i love you